preached on is there not a cause something david said when he was uh responding to the the taunts and the blasphemies of the giant goliath in first samuel chapter 17 i believe we're there today in the spirit i believe really prophetically we are there again i believe we have heard this voice and yet many are silent uh, many of uh, god's people aren't speaking up uh and i Honestly, I'm getting a little fed up with hearing from Christians who say, well, we shouldn't be involved in politics, and oh, I shouldn't be involved in politics. And, you know, I ask people, I said, do you, do you realize, why do you drive 35 miles an hour in a 35 mile an hour zone? Do you not realize that that law was made by someone who got elected political power? That was a decision. I mean, that governs your life. That's, that's why we have speed limits. So somebody decided that was the right speed limit. Uh, why do you wear seat belts? So why do I wear seat belts? Well, because it's the law. You know, that's a political decision somebody made that you've got to wear a seat belt or you get a ticket. That That's political. It came from a law that someone made who was elected. Uh, why are you paying twice as much these days for gas? Well, I don't know. Well, because, dear, it's political. Uh, political power changes, and it affects everything. It affects how much you pay for groceries, how much you pay uh, for gasoline. Why are utility bills now so high? Uh, mm, I don't know. I, I guess I don't know. You don't know because you're not thinking. It, it's political. I mean, the, all of these are decisions that are made by somebody who's elected. Why is crime on the rise in our nation's greatest cities? Mayors are not enforcing the law. They're not doing their job. That's why. That's political. Or maybe you don't care. Why will 2 million illegals enter our country this year, according to the latest estimate? 2 million. Well, you don't know. It's because somebody in politics uh, has made some decisions. In that case, an executive order. Why are your children, what are your children learning in school? It's political. It's decided by a school board. Those are elected officials. By the way, did you know that school board elections in, in America are the least participated in elections? Less than 10% of residents vote in school board elections. Can you imagine? And then you wonder why critical race theory gets taught in our schools. I mean, because the people that we've elected are allowing it to happen. It's high time to wake up, beloved, and realize there is a cause. There is something to speak up about. God's word says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's in Hosea 4, chapter 6. My people, not, not the devil's people, not just any people. God said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are. This is an hour where we can't uh, be without knowledge. And why are we without knowledge? Because of poor leadership. If you read the rest of Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because you've rejected knowledge, I will reject you from being my priest. You see, a lot of people don't realize that God appoints pastors, priests, to, to uh, bring knowledge of God and God's word to his people. And it might shock you to know that we have the responsibility where God's people are perishing for lack of knowledge. It's part of our responsibility. And I'm worried about it, friends. Dr. Jim Garlow says there, of the 364,000 churches in America, 72% of them don't even have a biblical worldview. In other words, 72, almost three out of four Christian churches in America are led by pastors who do not have a comprehensive biblical worldview, who don't know or see why we should apply the Bible to every dimension of life. No wonder we're in trouble. No wonder we're perishing. Time to change it. And with God's help, we will. Hey, Ray McCollum here. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it was a blessing to you. Go ahead and subscribe now. There's a lot more where that came from.